is it would we say then that it is precisely in the church's suffering that the church then most powerfully bears testimony to the power of the resurrection of Christ. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. And that that if I could um that really speaks to one one of the uh, very profound points that he makes at the end. This is something that that I thought was was particularly profound. He says only in the fellowship, this is at the end of the article, um, only in the fellowship of Christ's sufferings will the church avoid the extremes of a quasi-theocratic utopianism mm -hmm. on the one hand and a millennial escapism and narrowing of the gospel on the other. And what's so beautiful about that expression is that it avoids uh, sort of a, um, uh, a grandiose... Uh, expectation of a golden age for the church, right? But also avoids the dispensational error of thinking that the church must escape from the world in yeah. order to carry out its ministry, right? So we're yeah, not, or or the tribulation period, yes, yeah, we're, to be removed yeah, for, exactly. from it. Exactly. So we're not we're not looking for the Benedict option, right? And we're not looking to conquer culture either. I mean, you know, we we are looking to be faithful and to bear testimony and bear witness to the world of the glories of the resurrection of Christ precisely in and through our sufferings for Christ and in Christ.